V2 butters have dropped. They dropped this morning early in the AM on European sites. They dropped JD Sports last night, Foot Patrol, and I was able to get through on multiple websites. Didn't check out because I wanted to wait for the US drop to buy from US sites. So if you tried last night on like on JD Sports, if you're patient, you had a chance. And they just dropped here in the US. Right now it's about 10, 20 AM in the morning. I just started recording. When they dropped at 10 AM, I got a pair, honestly, within about 20 seconds, like that. It was stupid easy. I logged on to Kicks USA, I guess, on my website. I don't want to show my actual address, but I logged on to Kicks USA. They put me straight through to the page. I clicked size 13, clicked add to cart, went to cart, clicked check out PayPal, went to PayPal, logged on, hit buy it now or hit pay now, and it was done. Like. I'm sure if it's going to focus on it, but literally, that, that's just my uh, Twitter post that I made. Like literally, I checked out and had the whole thing done in like 20 seconds. Like by 10, 10 a.m. and 30 seconds, I was tweeting on Twitter that I, I already got a pair within 30 seconds of the drop. Like it was super easy. I just logged on to YCMC.com and I've already got a sizing cart, and like I went through the whole process of checking out. Got I got to the final page where you hit like like enter payment like pay now but i don't want another pair because you know i don't want another pair so if if you're not honestly trying to get a pair of these and if you strike out you did something wrong because these are stupid easy to get i had a couple of friends uh i didn't enter any in-store raffles because i really i honestly don't even really want this pair i don't like the colorway i got this pair from kicks USA just kind of like shits and giggles like I just try to see if I could get a pair like quickly at 10 a.m. And I got a pair honestly within 20 seconds of the drop and uh, I'll review them on my channel and I'll decide what to do with them But I had uh, several friends who did in-store raffles here in the city and there was a crap ton of pairs here I had one one friend who hit every single store he hit champs finish line and got soul he got three pairs. I had another friend live down in Georgia. He hit four in-store raffles. I had another friend that lives in Kentucky. He hit, I think, three raffles. Like, people are hitting raffles, multiple raffles. Like, in-store raffles. People were winning multiples. Like, it was easy. There was a ton of pairs. And online right now, like, I got one pair within a matter, literally, 15 or about 20 seconds, actually. Let me not lie. About 20 seconds, I was checked out, done email confirmation from kicks usa i got a pair i went ahead and i logged on to uh adidas and i'm like i'm like in the virtual waiting room just doing the the whole like yeezy thing that i've been doing now for a couple years i opened up 11 waiting rooms through the google chrome with the the uh what's it called I'm drawing a blank oh the guest accounts I've talked about this on past videos. I've explained how to do this, that the guest accounts, uh, Adidas doesn't view these as a, uh, they, they view it as a different cookie. So it kind of like, it makes you look like you're a different computer. And Adidas right now is pretty much like the only website where uh, I'm not getting like straight through. Every other website I've tried, I've gotten straight through to the actual stock. Let me just let me see if I still got this pair in my cart at YCMC. Yeah, it's still there. I mean, heck, I can. I mean, if I wanted to, I can just probably just go and just check this pair out too. It's a size ten. Yeah, I can go ahead and just freaking check this pair out too. I don't want it though, cause I don't want to have to resell a size. I think it's like a size ten. I just added random size to my cart. I don't want to have to resell a size ten and make like twenty five dollars, cause reselling these things are pretty much obsolete. I haven't really tried any of the actual apps to get a pair yet. Because you can go on to like your Foot Locker, uh, Finish Line, and all those apps like right now and try to get a pair. You see right there. And I haven't tried yet. Let me just let me just see if I can actually even add a pair to cart through one of my apps. I never added a cart, yeah. Usually these apps don't they don't do well. So let me add to cart. It's crapping out. Unable to add. Unable to add. Oh, it's swinging. It's swinging. Nope. So, yeah. 
I'm gonna keep trying, kind of like on Adidas, because I'm kind of curious if I can get through on Adidas, because the most stock available is Adidas.com. They have roughly around 37 pair, 37,000 pairs available. I said 37, 37,000 pairs available on, on Adidas.com. And right now on their website, they're showing every single size is still available in stock. So nothing has sold out yet on Adidas.com. And I know they said that usually Adidas.com, you know how they do it, how they go live at 10 a.m. around that time, but they actually don't load their stock for a while because they take the first half an hour sometimes to ban bots and uh, ban people trying to you know beat or beat the system that's what so right now what they're trying to do is just ban bots and ban proxies during this time is what they're is actually what they're doing okay i, I just got this page right here if this happens to you on adidas like right now it happened to me all you got to do it means that adidas flagged my guest account as suspicious so all you need to do here just clear your cookies your browsing data from that page I haven't really checked on my Twitter yet to see what everybody else is doing, but I'm sure there should be a lot of people right now. It should be pretty successful. Actually, look, it looks like Easy, Easy Supply just restocked. I just clicked on Twitter. Within, it said two seconds, Easy Supply just restocked. If you're a normal Yeezy hunter, Easy Supply will restock several times throughout the day. They always do. Let's see. And right I'm just taking through Twitter, see what's going on. See what kind of success people are getting. Nobody's hitting yet on adidas.com. So right now the time is at 10.31 a.m. I don't see anybody hitting on adidas.com. So Adidas, it's live on the website, but their actual stock though isn't live. I do have some soft, not really software, but it's kind of like some software where you can check Adidas' stock numbers and I guarantee it that their stock actually isn't live yet. Let's see, oh, there's, here's one other person they hit on Shoe Palace. Here's Kix USA. Let's see, another Kix USA. So, I mean, people on my timeline, here's a YCMC hit, three pairs. People are, yeah, so people on my timeline, I'm seeing people hit. Here's a person just hit on on uh, the website Essence, whatever it's called. Essence, yeah. Let's see, here's another person. Here's dude just hit on two pairs on the easy supply restock that's cool hit two there damn okay here's a guy he's hit 24 pairs so far on easy supply with his bot i don't know if you i'd buy 24 pairs of this easy 350 v2 butter that's a little bit too much money invested into this shoe because it's just not the money's not there so I'm seeing quite a bit of success. Let me check back in here a little bit. Let me turn this off. It is 10.50 a.m. And it looks like sizes 12.5, 13.5, 14.5, 16, and 17 were never actually available. But the first actual size that was available has sold out. Size 14 is gone. I know lots of Yeezys sizes 13 and 14 are kind of like the money sizes. And then some of the smaller sizes sometimes can be money sizes. With the V1s, the money sizes were like these right here were money sizes. But now for V2s, bigger sizes are like in excessively short supply. So the first one gone is size 14. First size sold out. Um, I still, like Adidas hasn't, let, hasn't put me through yet on any of my pages yet, which is kind of strange. I usually get through Adidas pretty decently. I've been following people on Twitter, seeing how everybody's doing, and uh, pretty much bots right now are only people that have been cooking on Adidas like crazy this morning. Uh, manually, I have seen a few people have gotten through, but it looks like Adidas right now has just it's just getting just bombarded bombarded by bots and it's just destroying their website. And like I said, the only ones getting through. Finish line, their website, <clears throat> most all their stock is still available, but problem is. Their website crapped out, and it's been this way now for quite some time. If you like refresh, you'll see it. See the page is up, and now it's gone. Watch this. Page is up, and now it's gone. Let's see that one more time. Page is up, and now it's gone. So finish line, their website's all screwed up. <laughs> they don't really know what's going on with that. So finish line, 
if you actually can look at their stock, nothing on Finish Line sold out because their website's completely crashed. It always has crashed. Finish Line has always been a horrible website to try to check out from. It's been away for years now. But their website has is totally, it's just malfunctioning completely. It's like half splash page, half view our tweets, and then another, I guess, third here is the actual shoe page. Very strange, so their their programming needs to get fixed. But I've, I've, I've been checking Twitter off and on as uh, the morning's been going on, and like I said, I've been seeing a lot of success on my timeline. I mean, if you honestly have been trying to get this sneaker with in-store raffles, keyword, if you tried, if you used every outlet possible, in-store raffles, online raffles, and today they had dropped. If you tried, you would have gotten this shoe for retail. I guarantee you would have gotten it. And Finish Line's website, it kind of froze up like on the actual working page for like a second. I'm like, ooh, it, it actually fixed. And no, it went right back to the screw up page. I'm, I don't mean to try to sound harsh on people, but what's going to happen is people are going to strike out on this shoe and they're going to and, and they're going to tweet worst release ever hardest cop ever this was terrible this is a horrible job blah blah actually no it wasn't actually no it wasn't you didn't use every possible outlet you could to get this sneaker you didn't go to your local sneaker stores and enter the in-store raffles i bet you didn't enter the possible, I think it was up to like 18 online raffles. I think it was 18 I counted that you could have entered into. I bet you didn't do those. You know, I bet you didn't sit there and try to get on the kicks USA and YCMC and livestock. And then you didn't, I guarantee you did not but there'll be people worst drop ever. People are crazy paying over 300 bucks for this shoe. It was so hard to get. You didn't try. Sorry, your feelings are hurt because I'm telling you the truth and you know it. You didn't try. I've been preaching this for a long time. If if a shoe is truly limited, like 10,000 pairs kind of limited, you could do everything possible. You could do everything right and you will probably still strike out. But this kind of a shoe that's made 100,000 pairs plus, if you tried, you're gonna get the damn thing. You will get it. Guarantee it. Anyway, off of my drama rocker here for a second because I guarantee I'm already gonna see that on Twitter, people saying, worst release ever. People are crazy. This was a hard cop. No, everybody who tried his getting multiple pairs with ease. It's now 10.56 a.m. More sizes have sold out on adidas.com. Size 4.5 is gone, and now size 12 is gone. Sizes are slowly selling out. I still have not gotten through any of my guest accounts through Google Chrome. So that's kind of strange. I think I got, I think a total of 12, or yeah, 11 guest accounts up, plus then like my actual or my actual account here is like crapped out looks like anyway it's not even working my 11 guest accounts are up and going but they're not doing much so they still got you know you still got almost a full size run left smallest four to biggest of a 13 pretty much of it next size to go is going to be that size 13 is going to be the next one to go because that's going to be like the last money size left is going to be that 13 so 1057, that's what's left. We'll see what happens. 1120 AM just got through on adidas.com. And this shows me a crap ton of sizes available. This actually shows you, this is kind of nice, actually shows you a size guide. It says that these do run a little small, buy a half size bigger. Let me just try to put my man size 13 in the car. Choose everything with a freaking car in it. Okay, car, 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 car. Verify. Add to bag. Sorry, the size just went out of stock. Let's see. Car, 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 car. Verify. Let me try again. Actually, yeah, 13 is gone. Let me see if... Uh, looks like I'm going to be giving away a free card to somebody. Let me try a size... Uh, let's do a 9.5. See if I can get into it to my bag. Yep, here we go. 
I'm be giving away a free cart to somebody. I'm about ready to tweet this out on my Twitter page. A free cart. First person who wants it. Here we go. We're giving away free carts today. <laughs> had uh, the first person on Twitter reached out. They gave me their correct login information, their email address, and their password to their Adidas account. And his name is Rod. I'm not going to give you his actual Twitter handle because I don't want him to get spammed and get hated on because he got a free cart. But I logged him in. It's that easy. I, I, I logged him in. There he is. It's in his cart. And all he has to do now is check out. The pair's his. And it is totally free cart. I'm going to keep going. Try to get some more free carts for people. And just keep waiting, playing the waiting game. And so, yeah, Rod, so free cart, it's yours, man. Enjoy. And Finish Line's website's finally working. It actually lets you add to cart, but once you add to cart, it, it, <laughs> the website is screwed back up and it puts you back into kind of like the waiting room slash a tweet page while you're trying to add to cart. It's like, this is ridiculous. Oh my god, I have never seen a website this freaking bad. But since I actually was able to add to cart, I wonder if it's actually in my bag. Let me check and see. Oh, you can't. I tried to just go to finishline.com to check like my shopping cart to see if it was in it, and it won't let me. But I think it actually might be in my bag because I was able to actually add to my or add to my bag. Come on, chick, click bag. Go. I'm trying to click my bag. It won't let me go. I don't know. But I was actually able to click my size, click add to bag, and it went to like the spinning page of like it was going to add to my cart, add to my bag as they call it, and then it went and it, it flubbed up again. So and it's finish line site. My God, I've never seen it crash this bad before. I just tried to just decided to try like some foot sites just just for fun. So I logged on to Foot Locker, Foot Action Champs, and East Bay, just trying to just see if I add to cart. Eleven fourteen a.m. And uh, looks like they're all having issues. Champ Sports, their website keeps crashing. So looks like your main foot sites are actually having some problems with websites going down. But earlier today, if you tried on websites like uh, Kicks USA, YCMC, Shoe Pallets, you're getting straight through. I think maybe people forgot about those websites at 10 o'clock or something. I'm not sure, but I got straight through on them. Other people did too. I mean, straight through. I still, I'm still waiting on Adidas. Whoa, there's, there's more sizes gone now. Wow. Okay, so 4.5 is gone, 5.5 is gone, 6.5 is gone, 11.5 is gone, 12 is gone, 12 and a half is gone, and 14 is gone. So sizes are selling out on Adidas slowly. Right now, it's only just a couple minutes until 12 o'clock noon Eastern time. So everything's been live now for almost two hours. Adidas.com actually has refreshed and put most all sizes back in stock except for uh, size 14. These were never available, but 6.5 is gone and 14 is gone. So a couple sizes were gone, but they've like restocked those sizes again. So it's like two hours into the freaking drop and there's still looks like a boatload of sizes available. So Adidas is dragging this release out. I think it was like the blue goods or the blue tints, one of those two, you know, six months ago where the drop lasted like, what was it? Five, five hours, I think it was. Like five and a half hours for the entire drop. Like Adidas literally took like from 10 o'clock in the morning to like three or 3.30 in the afternoon for the drop to finally sell out. It was a ridiculous amount of time. I think they're gonna do the same thing again here. They're just dragging this thing out, only letting so many computers in at a time so their website doesn't crash. I get it, I understand, I get it. But, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and waste my entire Saturday waiting. And I mean, I've already given away two free carts. I gave away one free cart from YCMC to a friend of mine. I gave away another cart from Adidas to a subscriber. So I gave away two free carts today, it's pretty good. And I got a pair for retail. So I'm gonna head out probably for an hour or two. I'm gonna come home. I won't be shocked if they're still available here in like an hour or two on Adidas. So if I don't talk to you after this, good luck everybody. If I don't see you, but I'll probably still do like a little wrap up when I get back about the drop and what I think about how everything went down and we'll speak again. Back at the house, had to leave. 
well, didn't have to, but chose to. They ran around, did some errands. I actually stopped at one yard sale and just got back. And I guess stopped at the yard sale because the guy was selling collectibles and vinyl. Had to stop, got these vinyls for a buck a piece. Bay City Rollers with that famous song, Saturday Night. Meatloaf, Bat Out of Hell for a buck. And probably the favorite out of the three I picked up at the yard sale, Iron Butterfly in a Gata La Vida. Three bucks for these three vinyls. Anyway, so I had to run some errands, came back. I was gone for a little more than an hour. Came back, checked my uh, computer, answered a few tweets back and forth with some people. And they just went out of stock on Adidas. Uh, I'd better say about 10 minutes ago. Probably about 1.20 Eastern time in the afternoon. So they were live for about a little over three hours. Which I think is way too long of a release. That is too freaking long on a Saturday. So all in all, I pretty much technically got three pairs. I got a size 13 ship from Kicks USA. Got a YCMC pair that I checked out for a friend of mine, having shipped to him, and then I was able to cart a pair on Adidas like pretty quickly once once they went live. Well, not really quickly, but kind of soon, and gave that away to uh, a Twitter follower. And he successfully checked out. So pretty much I got three pairs very easily. I could have gotten more. I could have gotten a pair from JD Sports this morning. I didn't get it because I just kind of wanted to go through US because I knew I could get a pair. And uh, I could have gotten more pairs on Adidas if I would have stayed here. Because I came home and whenever I got on my computer, like I was able to get through on this page and this page. And... That says I'm still in the waiting room. I was able to get through on this page. This page popped through. That page popped through. So I was able, while I was gone, running some errands about an hour, I was able to get through on one, two, three, four, five, six. So I was able to get through while I was gone for the past hour six times on adidas more likely even though six i could have given away those six carts and at least half of those probably more i could have you know gotten those checked out so i could have gotten at a minimum six pairs on this release either through myself or gotten checked out for other people i mean seriously that's an easy cop um people say oh but you were able to get through all these times on Adidas, but I was also I was able to get through on JD Sports. I was able to get through on Kicks USA. I was able to get through on YCMC. That was with no bots, no proxies, pure manual. I was doing no tricks. The only thing, the only trick I used, which is not a trick, it's a common thing that I've talked about before. I used Google Chrome guest accounts. That's all I did. Where you create guest accounts on your Google Chrome. And it pretty much, your Google Chrome guest account puts a new cookie on your guest account. So it, it just looks like a different computer. So like I have up, I think, 12 Google, no, yeah, 12 Google Chrome, Chrome guest accounts. So it looks like I'm on 12 computers at once. That's all I'm doing. Some people are doing it like 100 times. I don't because... Uh, it slows down your computer way too much. If I did it like a freaking 100 times, I probably could have gotten through 30, 40 times on Adidas. I'm just letting you know, like, I got through. I got multiple pairs. I don't know how people are not getting through. I've been hit up on Twitter from several people right now. Like, I was going through before I went back to record this last part of my video. People have hit me up. Several people. They said, look... I saw your post saying how easy it was to cop. Can you help me? Can you give me tips? This one guy said he entered all the local raffles and he tried Yeezy Supply, Finish Line, and Adidas. Well, if that's all you did, that's still not enough. So if you entered your local raffles, that's fine. You know, that couple raffles you lost. Okay, cool. Then you tried Yeezy Supply. Okay, that's one website. You tried Finish Line. That's one website. And Adidas, you probably used one browser. There are dozens of websites to use. And I've told people about the tips, like the Google Chrome guest accounts is like the ultimate, you can call it the Adidas jig that takes no bots, no proxies, no experience. And 
the odds of getting through the splash page is extremely high to get through multiple times is extremely high. I've done videos on this, several videos. I've talked about this. And I guess some people still don't know because they don't watch my videos. Like they'll follow me on Twitter and they'll, they'll subscribe to me on YouTube. But they actually don't really watch my videos. And then when it comes time for a big shoe drop, then they start listening to you on Twitter or they start to read to, to see what I'm saying. But then they don't really follow you because... So they don't really know, like, all the information that I give out in the past. That I've given out, like, say, hey, I, like, this, these tips will help you get these shoes. Like, I got through, what, while I, I was gone, I got through Adidas six more times. While I was here, I got through Adidas once. So I got through Adidas seven times on one computer, seven times. And if I actually would have... With those six carts, if I would have given those carts away, cleared my cookies, and refreshed the guest accounts, I would have gotten through more than that. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm not trying to bash people saying that, you know, you didn't do the right thing. I'm not trying to bash you, but it's just frustrating whenever I'm trying to give people tips in the past and right now that... Certain sh okay, if the shoe is limited, like the frozen yellows last year with 10,000, 12,000 pairs, the odds of getting that shoe was near impossible. There's really no way to get it manual. It was like, if you never bought, you're kind of screwed. But this kind of a drop, this, the butters, the blue 2.0s, the blue tents, the zebra restocks. If you didn't get those sneakers for retail, you weren't trying People like me are giving you all these tips and hints, and I'm giving you like these Google uh, Chrome jigs that you can use to get these for retail. So I'm just gonna wrap this up. But the next Yeezy drop, whenever it's a mass produced GR like these butters with 100,000 plus pairs, I mean, but before these shoes drop, ask more questions next time. You know, ask more questions about how to get these shoes for retail. Because if it's a mass-produced Yeezy GR, like these butters, these were GRs. These are mass-produced. They're not hard to get for retail. If you know tricks of the trade, if you know how to do it, if, if you know all the websites to go to, if you just know how to ask questions, that's all you got to do. Ask, ask questions. Watch videos. A lot of people out there will charge you for this information. There are resellers, sticker resellers out there, and you know who I'm talking about will charge you for this information that I give for free. Like the shipping jig, how to get multiple pairs shipped. Like if I buy eight pairs from Adidas shipped to my home address, how do you do that? It's the shipping jig. Other like resellers who have like their, their like re or like their kicks programs, they will charge you for that information. I'll tell you what the shipping jig is. It's, it's, it's like, I don't charge for this information. I'll give it to you for free. I don't care. It's common knowledge if you're in this this like group of mindset people of how to get these shoes for retail. You know what I'm saying? I just talked to a couple of people on Twitter and it looks like YCMC and Kicks USA were a couple of websites this morning that people like they must have those two websites, they must have had a crap ton of stock more than what we expected because a lot of people hit on Kicks USA and YCMC, especially Kicks USA. A lot of people hit. I mean, a lot, a crap ton of people hit. If you hit on Kicks USA, comment below, let me know. Whenever they went live at 10 a.m., how fast were you able to get through and check out? I'm kind of curious, who was the fastest? Like me personally, no joke, no joking, no nothing. 20 seconds, I was in, out, done. No joke. It was fast. How, like, and another person I read, they got through, they, they, they thought in about 15 seconds, maybe, 15, 20 seconds. Another person, I've heard a few people say within a minute or less. Like, that was common. Like, the website wasn't crashed. It didn't, like, it didn't flub up or nothing. It just, it worked smooth. You checked out, you were done. You just kept it moving. That's how it should be. A website that worked and functioned properly. It's it, so much easier. So if you're watching this video, if you didn't try on like websites like Kicks USA or YCMC, websites like those, those kind of foot sites, is it because you forgot to try them or you didn't know about them or you did try but struck out? I'm kind of curious because it looks like if you tried on those websites, you had a good chance of hitting. Like 
it was it was a little too easy. I'm kind of curious. Anyway, I'm done rambling. I've gone on, 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 on. Anyway, so today was successful. I got three pairs. One personal gave or checked out two for subscribers or a friend and then a subscriber. So good day, successful day. Passed on the Levi 4s. I just wasn't going for them. Didn't really want them. Anyway, let me know below. How'd you do? See you later.